Likey, subscribe, and comment, mofos. This is an overview of a fully automated micro greenhouse. As you can see, you can have switches that tell you if different devices are on or off. You can have different rooms or zones. Each sensors tell you different information, for example, temperature and humidity for different rooms. You can actually have gauges that tell you the different information as well. You can have all the information put into one chart so you can see the correlation of the humidity to the temperature. And as you can see, when the humidity goes up, temperature goes down and vice versa, allowing you to make adjustments to your environment that basically run themselves. Starting with lights is very simple. You can get it to mimic sunrise and sunset, or you can actually put in times in a 24 hour clock and they'll switch on and off from the times that you set. The fans and the extraction fans are very much the same. You can set the times, they run themselves. I also have an automation running in the background for the extraction fans. When the lights are off, if the humidity reaches above 80%, the extraction fan kicks on. When it goes below 50%, the extraction fan switches off. The water pump is quite an interesting one. Initially, I tried to run it like the fans and the light times. I had a set time on and set time off. But when you're talking about a micro setup like mine, one minute of water flow is actually quite a lot. So that didn't work. I did find an alternative solution where I set the watering pump time on, get it to delay for however many seconds I set, 5, 10, 15, whatever, 7, 27, doesn't matter, and then switch off again. However, this wasn't very precise. And on a bigger scale, although you can set the times on and off, you'd want to be a bit more precise, especially when you're talking about giving liquid nutrients. So it doesn't matter what capacity you give. I've put milliliters because mine's a very small setup. And I've set, you can put 500 mils a day or 1,000 or however many you want, or you can actually set the watering time and it will self-adjust itself. I've already done a video on how accurate this is. I'm pretty impressed with this automation. Shout out to my boy Ahmad for his help on that one. But that really runs itself and is very, very good. So here is the watering automation in operation. I'm just doing a test to make sure everything's working. I set the time a minute from now. And then you want to look third from the top where it says water pump. And you want to see that it does come on and it fills at the same time. There you go, I put a link there. And that's the background noise it makes. And I didn't actually have this on the right measurement, but I turned it round and I tried to zoom in so you could see a little bit clearer. There's a marker as well, more or less precisely 200. So I wanted to test this at 400. The first problem I had was every time I kept trying to move the slider, it wasn't going on 400. So I had to change that from being a sliding input value to actually, I can actually in, just input numbers. Made life a bit easier. And here is the updated version. As you can see, I could now just change the number from two to 400 mil, straight up easy. Next, I update the time for the next test and wait for the pump to turn on for the precise watering measurement. I put another look here sign for you guys. Remember, we're aiming for 400. I'll put another marker in there. There you go. More or less bang on again. Really good. For the last test, I wanted to show you 500 mil. The higher volume you go, the more precise it gets. So I'm not really too worried about this one. As I say, just update the quantity you want to water. Update the watering time. That's it. Make sure you're watching. We're aiming for 500.
again, I'm going to say that is bang on 500 mil, and I'm very happy indeed. The next thing that was quite interesting was the humidity. Initially, I had the humidity to come on if, if, if the humidity dropped below 50 or the temperature went above 27 and switch off if the humidity went above 70 or the temperature went below 18. However, that caused too much fluctuations. I then tried a different automation where I get the humidity during lights on to the humidifier during lights on to switch on for 20 minutes and then off for 20 minutes, on 20 minutes, off 20 minutes, or on one hour, off one hour, on one hour, off one hour. However, that also caused too much fluctuation. So I'm now set these new humidifier sliders where I can set the, the humidity I want in each zone. And what it does is the, humi the humidifier will switch on and off to try and maintain that zone. Currently it's set to 70 and it's trying to maintain 70. And as you can see from the history, it's more or less maintained it whilst we've been talking. And as you might have noticed, this switch and this switch have been going on and off depending on whether the humidity has reached 70. So as you can see, that just went over 70 as I'm talking and the humidifier went off. Brilliant, works awesome. So now it maintains the humidity within the environment while, rather than seeing too much fluctuation. This is a very, very basic overview. As you can see, every aspect is fully controllable. I'd definitely like anyone's input if you guys want to see anything done. I was thinking about getting a pH sensor and a CO2 sensor so you can start getting other automations. Let me know what you guys want. I've also added a camera to the environment which tells me motions detected. But it gives me an overview so I can see my plants at any time. And what this does is once a day it captures a picture. So I'm hoping at some point I can do a time lapse video I can show you guys and it automatically does that all by itself. I wanted to create a system that was compact and easy enough for anyone to do, no matter their lifestyle or plant growing knowledge. I am convinced that everyone should be growing in their own homes to cut down the need on industrial farming and build a self-sustaining model that will directly reduce the carbon footprint and demand of resources from our planet. Previously, people would say they didn't have the time or the knowledge. Well, now the technology is there that basically does it all for you. So I ask, which future do you choose? Let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching. Goodbye.